Uh, this is from Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And today we're gonna to talk about two topics. The first one I'll get real quick out of the way, which is these images here. Go ahead and check those out. It's Tom Hardy in Esquire magazine. We used to cover a lot of magazine and interview stuff before, you know, leading up to the first movie coming out. But there hasn't really been a ton of that marketing wise. They haven't really done a lot of interviews or anything lately. Um, we just get some stuff from Andy Circus from time to time and a post here or there from Tom or Jake or something. But with Tom and Jake working on Havoc right now for Netflix, they're off, you know, just doing a new movie now and they're very busy. So we haven't seen a ton of that. I mean, some of Tom Hardy out, you know, like meeting people out in public. We've seen some of those photos as well. Um, but uh, but these, you know, it's nice to see something in a magazine that is uh, kind of covering Tom and, you know, you know, kind of focus on him uh, because that's he's one one of the reasons I started this show like I love Venom but I'm a big Tom Hardy fan I know a lot of people out there that watch this show are and a lot of people out there that created a, like Tom Hardy fan accounts on Instagram and stuff and on Twitter and everything I know they're very excited every time there's new images that pop up of him so uh so if you're you know run one of those pages or anything like that or if you just have thoughts on these photos let me know down below and we'll continue talking about them down there but I just thought it was cool finally we get to cover something from a magazine again which is nice and real quick before we get into the next topic I just want to mention the wall back there with all the names on it you guys probably have seen it as you're watching this video um, I had an earlier draft of it in a previous video but now this is like the kind of the final one but I'm sure I'll add more sheets at some point and other images behind me but this is just something I wanted to make because there was a lot of people if you saw my community post uh, it's just people who have reached out to me wished me well who you know, are always in the, the live streams chatting with us who are always positive. Um, some people who have actually lent me money and, you know, that I could pay back later uh, to help me with bills during the month I had surgery when I fell behind on stuff. And now I'm caught back up finally. So it's it's nice. Like I, I've had a lot of people help me these past few months and it means a lot to me. So I wanted to in some way represent you. So I'll have a cutaway shot there so you can see a closer shot. If you feel like your name should be on that list, you know, don't take it personally. I'm making another piece too but if you if you are like hey i'm here constantly and you didn't mention me it's just my brain you know it's i i could only remember so many names at, you know in, in my head and i did my best so uh so if you think i missed you and you think it's unfair you know let me know like comment and say hey man i'd, I'd love to be on that wall i comment a lot or i email you um you know because i might know you under a different name you know for, through email and stuff so whatever it is you know feel free to jump down in the comments and let me know but the main thing i want to talk about today is the delay of this movie again um, I don't really see the point in a three-week delay. Obviously, the movie is going to come out September 24th. Now it's been pushed back to October 15th. And along with that new release date, we got you know, these two posters here that have the new release date on them. I think one of these posters was kind of leaked before from another country, like, you know, it was in different language on it. But now we have the like, you know, U.S. version, I guess, of this poster, and it has the October 15th release date on it. And then they also sent out this poster, this like battle poster, and it also has the October 15th date. So it seems like they're committing to it. At least they're doing, you know, because I noticed if you look on that poster where it says the date, it's like a black background. So if they ever want to update those posters, if they push the movie back again, they can easily take out October 15th and put in another date and not have to change much on the poster. And as far as I know, I mean, normally you would print posters and stuff like that and start, you know, handing them out at comic stores. Like Golden Apple got a bunch of stuff for the first Venom movie. Uh, they got little posters to hand out like 11 by 17s. And then for a free comic day, they did those limited prints and stuff. So there's definitely like, you know, you had you got to prepare early for that so i'm like are they actually going to print posters that say october 15th on them because if so that seems like a, a more of an indication that they'll commit to this release date but to me i don't see the point in a three-week push like i just i don't see the world changing that drastically between september 24th and october 15th like you know the delta variant thing that everyone's freaking out about like that's happening, and I don't know if that's going to change in three weeks. So it seems like a weird push. I don't know if there's other movies coming out around September 24th. Um, so who knows? Who knows what's going on here? Um, to me, it's... I don't know with, with movies how it's been going lately. I don't know if there's ever going to be a return to how movies were. I just don't. And I've always thought that ever since, even before the pandemic. Like, you know, Endgame came out, and that rocked the socks off of you know socks off of everything and, and made a lot of a lot of money um and beat all kind of records and stuff but i don't know if we'll get another thing like that you know that on that scale who who knows i'm sure people are going to still try to do that and still and they shouldn't stop trying obviously uh because they're in the business of making money so i understand so i hope they keep trying to make a big blockbuster hit but 
I don't know. So for me, I, as a fan, I'm like, yeah, just release it so that, you know, we can all watch it and judge for ourselves what we think of it. But I understand Sony's standpoint. And like I said, like a year ago, when they first came out and said some executive was like, we're not going to release this if there's any chance it won't make money. And that's probably what the delay is. But uh, but I don't know what three weeks really buys them. So I'm kind of confused by a three week delay. But who knows? Maybe they just need more time to work on it or edit it or I don't know. I, I have no idea why the delay. Um, I just hope that it, you know, three weeks seems like a, a silly delay. And it makes me wonder if they're going to delay it even further if September 24th comes around and movies still aren't doing well. Because I'm guessing Shang-Chi, that's going to come out. People are going to really, you know, base on, you know, movies and stuff, success. They're going to see how that goes because that's another Marvel film. Like Black Widow came out and that did okay. Um, but this is the first one that's theaters only. It's not going to be released on Disney Plus. Uh, you know, with, you know, $20 access or whatever, at least as of right now, this recording, I don't think it is. So this is, I think a lot of people are pins and needles waiting because Suicide Squad, everyone watched that and hoped that that would do better than previous Warner Brother films. And it didn't. So I think Shang-Chi is going to be the next one everyone keeps their eye on. And depending on how that does, first to second weekend might depend on Venom's release date as well. So I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm curious and I'm confused and I'm upset a little bit too because we were so close. Uh, we're still close, but not as close as we were. So hopefully if we do get, um, you know, if October 15th is the release date, I hope they stick with it. I mean, that is close to what it came out in, you know, early, uh, that was 2018 when the first Venom came out. Um, so three years ago, came out in October. So maybe it's a lucky month for the movie and maybe October 15th is a good release date. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts down below. And as always, we'll continue our conversation down there. In our next episode, I'm going to review Lasher. Yes, I did not get the um, combined cover because they sold out by the time I got there. I had to go after work one day and they were already sold out. And I was like, dang, but they were holding me this copy and they told me they're going to order me uh, a version, another copy so I can have the connecting covers. Because now I'm like, I got the first three, luckily. Um, like I bought like the last copies of the first three just by chance got there on time. Uh, but now I'm like missing last year and I'm like, no, I, I want them all now. I want them all to connect because uh, normally I'm not a variant cover chaser, but now I want them all to connect. <laughs> so so I have this one, though, and I'll give out the digital code in the next episode. And hopefully if I get the other copy um, sometime soon, I'll give out another Lasher code at a video in the future. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on a chance to win free digital comics. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you all in the future. Peace.